What's up, guys? Hey. Welcome to episode 193 of Dropouts. <laughs> Zach, what are you doing? Experiencing the future, something you will never do. Okay, what are you looking at? I got a text. You trying to see what it looked like? What does that mean? Who is that from? Definitely a woman. Uh, the back. You want to see what the back of my head looks like while you're pulling my hair? No. Jesus. I Yeah, Jesus. It wasn't Jesus. It, oh, no. okay. He's not in this text thread. Trust you me. said Jared's not going to experience the future, but I think we're all actually going to experience the future because the future is literally like two minutes ago wasn't the future. You know what? Gets, here, we, here we go. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> here we go. God. It gets, Jared gets um, really annoyed because he has to turn my exposure down on my camera. I literally just got another text. Oh, yeah, I could oh hear my gosh. it. Why is it so loud? It's vibrating. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Wait, what is what happening? What is happening? <laughs> Who's blowing you up right now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I'm so glad you guys can't see what's going on here. Okay. Anyway, uh, Jared always has to turn the exposure <laughs> down on my camera whenever he does editing. It's actually really annoying. He almost has to do special effects because um, I'm always so bright on the camera because of like just the way that, you know, my future is going to be. Like it, oh my god, that might be one of your worst jokes yet. I thought he was gonna say because of the bro glow. Yeah. First something. of all, I haven't bro glowed in a second because people kept on making fun of my raccoon hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wait, I'm getting a spray tan on. Can I come? Can we do it together? That would actually be a really funny video. I've done a video where I got a spray tan for the first time, and this is the second time I'm getting. <laughs> Dude, who Dude, is blowing you up? Who is texting you? Guys, can you let me live in my own? Why don't you just take? The future off. Okay, fine. I, I saw there is a like a viral like post or <sighs> photo or whatever uh, going around where a, after a wedding ceremony, the husband put those on for the entire reception. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I was That's like, gonna be Zach when he gets married. Dude, I saw that. I was like, that is so Zach. Guys, it's freezing again in here. No, no, it feels great. What like, were you gonna say? Freezing. Wait, no, I wanna I wanna spray tan with you. How do we do it? Um, I'm gonna be naked, so I'd rather you not be there. What if we turn around? Completely naked? Or what if we just- I'm gonna wear underwear. Oh, okay. Okay, then I'll wear underwear. What if we just assess that human bodies are beautiful and we don't have to make them schmuck at them and sexualize them? No, I agree. What? What, what did you just see know. a ghost? <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what's going on. Uh, No, I. that's fine, but I don't, I'm going with my friend, so. Who's your friend? Oh, guy Alyssa? friend? Sorry. Not that Alyssa. <laughs> okay, you don't like her. Okay, let's hit the- <laughs> No. I'm joking. Dude, that's not true. It's only because uh, on the Patreon episode, <laughs> people, people were mad because you brought up mental health. And she and was, I was like, I'm throwing a party. And she was so drunk. She just didn't hear it. We were all so drunk. It's like <laughs> I bring up one thing. Someone else brings up. It doesn't But matter. it was really funny. It was because funny. It, was funny. It, it, it looked really bad. Essentially, it, you were like, I'm so sad. I want to end it. And then she's like, I'm going to a party. <laughs> I, I did I feel say like, that. Do you know what's so funny, though? I feel like that's our personality. <laughs> yeah. But also, I think it was in connection because Skyler did ask, he's like, what gets you out of the funk? And then Tara yeah. was like, I'm throwing a party. Yeah. So I think in I, her in my, drunk, in my drunk, disassociated brain, way. Yeah. That also, was, it's a drunk episode. We're not sitting here talking about what makes us sad. Like, You know what makes me know? sad? And 20 seconds before that, we were talking about photosynthesis. Continue. Exactly. It's all over the place. Not hitting yeah. the intro music. That makes me sad. It's cold. That, well, that's because... Mr. Winter Bomber Jacket over there. Take the bomber jacket off and turn off the air. Can I not support my team for one hour? Yeah, but you have can like, you, you have t-shirts. Can you do it for the hour after this? Can I, can I ask you something? Every single time you come over here, you scoff at the temperature. What if you prepare better? <laughs> what if it's not Antarctica in your house? She makes a good point. Daddy, chill. I am cold. <laughs> do you want to wear my jacket? I am chilled. No, I don't want to wear your jacket. Oh, is that what you were doing to me? Skylar was like showing me a blanket. No, I'm okay. It's going to ruin my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why I knew it was going to end in it being the same exact thing. So I don't know where you're freaking out. All right. Uh, also, Handsome's here. <laughs> speaking of cold, speaking of cool, if you're not part of the Patreon, you should drool like my dog right here because you a big lame-o. My dog's so cute. He wants to go get the Venmo at Zach Justice to no. send him nope. money. Okay. Anyway, uh... Be a part of the Patreon. I, we just did a drunk episode where I had to get drunk. And you know what? You know what the best uh, kind of advertisement for it is? Uh, pull up the Zach progression video. If you guys want to. Wait, what? Yes. Wait, do you remember any? Do you remember? I remember, remember. Like things you said? <laughs> the 21st night of September. Without seeing like the clips? Do I? Uh, not always, no. 
But can I say this? If you want to see the drunk episode, we're going to do a seven-day free trial on the Patreon. Link in the description. March Madness, baby. That's why I got this on. Let's go. This is Zach's descent into madness. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, wait, this is a progression video? Yeah. Wait, he already looks drunk. Look at his eyes. Well, this is his first shot on camera. I took about three or four off camera. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Salud. I feel like he doesn't know what that means. He just oh. said it because, like, oh. it's God bless. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that's what people say. Oh my God. He needs, like, oh. cheers. Dude, no, uh, it means God bless. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Thank All right, Tara, I'm going to give this to you, and you got to promise that you'll be with Sook. You got to promise that you'll be the best with it. This is like 10 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. I told you it's the best thing I've ever held. Do you mind if we do it together? <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. I love that. It's nice. It's nice to fellowship with you. If you're right. I would never do that. So I would never do that sober. Youth group. So lovely to take communion with you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for you. Alyssa, look at me, Alyssa. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I don't know where the hell I'm at. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. This Act, no, this you're what? not even what? in the shot right now. Check the shot. <laughs> Checked it. You're not in it. No, where am I? I? We got you're so far below it. You got to sit up. No, we're not. In it. Go, baby. Oh, you know Zach's gone when he can't open his eyes. <laughs> Zach turns into a little hoe when. Uh, he gets some alcohol in it. <laughs> okay, well, okay, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, this that was in order, the progression yeah. of you yeah. getting more drunk. Wait, can you send that to me? I want to post it on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Wait, can I? You made a comment during the drunk episode that when I rewatched it made me lose my mind is when you you said Jared looks like the bear in the back with the two hats on. <laughs> <laughs> and I Holy fuck. lost it. Holy fuck, you do look like the bear. Dude, and you go, you you say it so slurred. You're like, Jerry, you look like your buddy in the back. <laughs> you have a clip of that? I don't think so. Oh, sick. It was, no, but it was like literally two seconds. Jerry, you look like a boy in the back. <laughs> I'm sure in my mind I was freaking out because I didn't know which one was you. <laughs> you were seeing double. It was a wild animal. So, um, yeah, that was Zach's progression on the drunk episode. I, I love it's these It's funny because I don't remember him being that drunk because I was pretty drunk. You were drunk when it started. We started and you went, go. <laughs> 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 cut it all out. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and when Jared's like, what? You're like, cut, cut out where I talk. <laughs> <laughs> like, we haven't, we just started. She's like, okay. <laughs> I was like, you haven't said anything, dog. <laughs> we were like 30 seconds in. You were like, cut that. I was like, what? <laughs> Got that. You didn't speak. <laughs> oh. I was talking about the vlog before. Oh, yeah. Because I was yeah, saying yeah. some crazy shit. Yeah, no, and were. then at one point, like, Zach goes to take another shot, and he was like, Tara, take this one with me. And uh, you were like, I don't know if I should. I'm already pretty drunk. And then we all were like, no, you'll go nonverbal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he did take it. Where, yeah. Why is your mic pointed <laughs> oh, down? I'm sorry. Well, because whenever the video is playing, I want to make sure. Guys, I'm so sorry. It. I don't mean to be annoying. You guys have to turn off the AC, please. Because I, 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 <laughs> no, actually, because I feel like I'm going to sex. So can you please turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so serious. You would have thought, you would have thought that we were like trying to put her dog down and she's like, Do you want don't, one please. of my jackets too? No, I just want this AC. I, this air is blowing straight into my like sinuses. Oh, you, it is right there. Think, it's off. Completely. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. The thing about the thing I love about you is you're not high maintenance. The thing I love about Zach is um, when we like I think it was like two weeks ago he was like you know people think it's like some kind of persona you do online like this valley girl persona but that's just you huh and I'm like <laughs> yeah. Well, you're from the valley. I'm it from makes the sense. valley. Oh, oh, also I had a uh, challenge. I actually didn't talk to you guys about this, but oh great, great. here we go. Wait, I find the I find the clips really funny. So. Put on either post of find a clip of us in the podcast anywhere, post it on TikTok or Instagram with the hashtag dropouts clip 2024. Sure. Sure. It doesn't okay. have to be a 2024 episode. Whatever one gets the most views gets $250. And then whichever oh. one we like the best gets $250. Is it on TikTok? TikTok or Instagram Reels. Maybe you should do like TikTok. But you can also post on Instagram Reels if you want to. Okay. Maybe <laughs> just use the hashtag or tag us. Just something where we can see it. Maybe the hashtag should be like dropouts contest something. Yeah. Just so we well, know contest what... might get flagged. Oh, hashtag okay. dropouts challenge. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Dropouts okay. Challenge. Forget the last one. I said, <laughs> I guess it's hashtag, be ultra... dro hashtag dropouts challenge. Okay. It'll Perfect. be on the screen. Are what? you drinking chocolate milk? Actually, it says chocolate, low fat milk, but on the back, it says like chocolate drink, which I'm like, is there milk mm, in it? A little scary. Oh, it says contains milk. Dude. That's the 
one oh, of the, the best Costco. chocolate milks. Yeah, I know. It's the best. I, I used coffee. to, before I started drinking coffee, I would always get that whenever my mom would go to a coffee shop. Did you know this, that Jared used to drink like eight glasses of milk a day? You were a milk drinker? The you biggest. You look like a milk drinker. What the fuck does that mean, there's Tara? Certain people, there's certain people where they're like, they like go out. Like, I'm sorry, I'm going to start laughing so hard. They like go out to restaurants like, can I get a glass of milk with that? I'm like, what are you, two? <laughs> Yeah, that was me. Oh. You would get like a, you'd like, you'd like, mm, this is really good sushi with a tall glass Oh, of I wouldn't milk. do it with sushi. You probably dip the sushi in the milk if we're being honest. Can we be honest for a second? Oh, that almost made me vomit. He's Okay, can, then what would you get it with? A salad? Uh, a steak? No, I would get it, yeah, with, like with a burger no. or something. <laughs> be be and reasonable and here. milk is so refreshing. It is. Oh, yeah, after a long run, long, sweaty, no. sweaty run in the middle of the heat. Are you joking? Of course. Okay, because that's <laughs> disgusting. No, 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 no. It makes my stomach curdle. I mean, I wouldn't. That was good. It's a milk thing. I know. <laughs> like, that's why I said oh, it. Sorry, yeah, sorry I that I pointed you it. and like just trying you know, to bring you I up. You know, when I like say something good, you don't need to like. Call it out. Yeah. <laughs> but you do. You always call it out. Like when I say something good, so I, I say, oh my God, that was good. Yeah, I didn't know you had said something. You knew you said something good. I didn't know that because usually you're like, that was good. You know what I mean? You're right. I do do that. So I had to give you your props. Thank you, Zach. Thanks. You've, you know what? You've been very angry on this podcast recently. Actually, Towards me. I think I'm doing great today. Today? Surpri surprisingly. Well, like, it's a it's a beautiful day. It's you're refreshed. Be honest. What's the have you drinking a gallon of milk in a day before? No. I mean like close to it. So there is there's a story. I've told this before on the podcast, but it's been a while. There is a story growing up. Uh it was during summer, and like during summer, I, my friends and I like we would all kind of rotate whose houses like we hung out during the week. And uh and there was one time we slept over at my friend Ray's house and in the morning, his mom was making us breakfast and we sat down before breakfast was ready. And, uh, she just like laid out milk, orange juice and stuff, finished a glass immediately. I took it like a shot, like a full glass of milk, started pouring myself another one, took that before breakfast was served. I think I finished like half a gallon and then you'd never be allowed to sleep over my house again. And then my mom, she, I guess. She told my mom or something. Well, first she cut me off. <laughs> like I was an alcoholic at a bar. She was like, dude, <laughs> no more. You need to lack a lactose here, buddy. I guess she told, like his mom told my mom and my mom was like so embarrassed that she made me take my allowance <laughs> and we went to Kroger and bought them a new gallon of milk. <laughs> and you, have a, you have a great mom then. Oh, no, no, she no. She's teaching you a lesson. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it at, was- At what point is your belly- you know, size of a kiddie pool full of milk. And you're just like, more, <laughs> more. more. Plus the food that was coming. Like we had eggs and waffles and bacon and stuff. Like it was, it was actually kind of disgusting. Was this during your inflatable era? Yes. What's an inflatable era? I was have a ever, have, yeah. heavier set child. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. He, he used to be how much? 240? Like 250, 260. Somewhere around there. But was he's it, also like five, what? I was like five, eight. It was before my growth Oh, okay. Spurt. So it was like baby fat. It's okay. It was not baby fat. It was drinking eight glasses of milk at dinner and Jesus breakfast. Christ. Do you want money right now? Do you want money right now? Like a lot of money. Like money that could change your life. Oh, wait. It's money that you already have that's been stolen from you that you can easily get back. Use the service Rocket Money. It goes through your subscriptions and tells you subscriptions subscriptions that you're not really using anymore. And a lot of people, they're like, oh, maybe I have one or two when they really have 10, 20. Get this. This is a fact. Scroll down, Alyssa. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and have saved them a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Listen to this. They save members up to $740 a year when using all the app's features. You sign up and you just get statistically $740. I can say from personal experience that when I signed up for Rocket Money, they canceled f almost $500 in subscriptions immediately. Which is pretty nuts. You'll subscribe to one random thing you haven't used in years, and you're like, man, I wish I could afford that dinner, or I wish I could go on that vacation, or I wish I had vacation money, this blah, 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 blah. When you actually do have it, you're just paying for stuff you don't use. Go to Rocket Money, it's so easy. It just simply is like, hey, you're spending money on this and you probably don't use it. And then you just click one button and it's like, okay, great. There's your money back. Sometimes it's not even stuff that you're not using anymore. It's doubles of things that you are using. No, I had subscription. I think it was like some type of meal service maybe where I had accidentally been subscribed five times 
and I didn't understand because they put it in like a weird text so they don't want you to see what you're paying for. Save me so much money. So if we're not clear about what Rocket Money is, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place so that you can grow your savings. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. That's rocketmoney.com slash dropouts, rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. And then use actually use dropouts because then it tells them that you use the service through us, even though we already know you're going to use it anyway, but use dropouts. You know what I mean? Thank you, Rocket Money. Do you want a nice body? I'm talking abs you can wash your clothes on. I'm talking muscles you can lift heavy things with. I'm talking take off a shirt and people see it on the beach and they go, wouldn't mind seeing that person in consensually in uh, around me. Could be platonic, but just objectively, you want to be objectively be nice to look at? Try FitBod. Personally, I've been using FitBod for years and it's like having a- Don't sound fake. He actually does use FitBod. He's been using it. How many days have you been using FitBod? Because uh, you sound I, fake like you don't use it. No, like you're just I reading do, an ad. I actually use it. No, I, I know. have it on my phone right now. That's what now. I'm trying to get away. Don't be like, I use FitBod. Tell, like, actually show him how long you've been using it. I have almost 1,400 workouts logged. I have, he used to be 5'8 and 260 pounds. And now I'm 6'1 and 200 pounds, but FitBod can't grow now. your height, <laughs> Just but just know he's been working on the fitness, okay? So like I was saying, it's like having a personal trainer, but better and cheaper. You can work out anywhere with or without equipment, and it's super easy to build custom workouts for your routine. And as you continue to work out, your body's going to change, it's going to adapt, and it's going to need to break down muscles in a new and fun way. And boy, does FitBod have that solution for you. As you progress, the app progresses, gives you workouts to change your body as you change. So add FitBod to your workout essentials. I promise you, as an avid user, you will not regret it. And right now, you can get your personalized workout plan for 25% off, or you can try the app for free at fitbod.me slash dropouts. Again, that is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash dropouts for 25% off, or Try the app for free. Oh, dude. And then we used to have milk drinking contests at my school. <laughs> you mean just you? <laughs> no, no, no. Just you at lunch? You'd be like, hey, guys, who wants to chug milk? And no. everybody's like, Jared's here. <laughs> but they thought, they're like, we have to be nice to them. You guys know why. No, you remember like the True Moo cartons or whatever? Yeah, man. Uh, me and this kid, Sam Ryber, we got, there was one time we got into a milk drinking contest. And I think <laughs> we drank. Can like, I ask you a question before huh? we move on? Was it you? What's his name? Sam. Were you and Sam sitting at a table alone or possibly sharing a toilet seat? No, in the dude. It was like you guys were sitting with people? <laughs> yeah, dude. Gotcha. It was it was like, you know when a crowd swarms like a fight? It was like that. There's three people watching. No, Dr no, no, no. Milk drinking contest? For a milk drinking contest. Wow, you had such a great high school experience. I, yeah, I know. That was that's kind of so, sad. So what happened? Jared was a loser in high school. Uh I think <laughs> I think he ended up, well, it, it depends on how you look at it, okay? Yeah. Well, what the scorecards say? I think he drank like seven and I drank six, but he threw up after. So you won. It depends on how you look at it. He did drink more, You're but fair. he threw up. You're a fair guy. Were the rules established beforehand? No, no, it was. I think he won. I, that's what I'm saying. I think no. he won. I think he got gotcha. you. No, he threw it up. Yeah, but that wasn't a rule established beforehand. If it was like no throwing up, it's wh whoever had the most milk in the gullet later in the day, you won that. But whoever threw the most dairy down at that given point, he filled up a pretty sizable portion of a trash can. Yeah, with because it was it was like when uh, it can was. Can we stop talking about milk? <laughs> <laughs> You'll talk about feces every day of the week, but the moment we bring up a creamy, a different creamy substance, you want to just knock it off. It's milk. We're talking. It's been. I don't know, 15 minutes You're a milkist. of the podcast, and we've been talking about Jared drinking milk. Dude, speaking of- Hashtag milk, dairy drama. You speaking know, of milk. <laughs> you know, you know the, the kid, I don't know his actual name, but his username is past that puss. Oh my. Oh, I love him. Right? Shane. He, Shane, is that his name? Yeah. So funny. Oh, the milk one? The, the milk one, it was like the guy who first discovered like that cows have milk, <laughs> but he comes in and he has like milk, milk all, all over, over his, his mouth. Yeah. And he's like, he, guys. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> it's I think I saw so that video. funny. It's so, he's so funny. Times. I think different. <laughs> different. No, um, that was no. There was you know there was an utter involved. There was just one though. It must have been an amputee. <laughs> and, oh god. Have um, you guys ever been cut off not milk wise like at a bar? 
course not. Oh, you haven't. Have you ever been cut off? Or Alyssa, have you? No. I've been like, oh. I've, I've been, <laughs> <laughs> you have. Once. Once? It was on a cruise. We'll explain it. Really? On a it cruise? It was on the cruise I went on with my ex-boyfriend and a bunch of our friends. Gotcha. So and this was recent. This was recent. This was in <laughs> August. And I still don't remember if like my friend Grace, David's girlfriend, cut me off or she just said they cut you off because we had been getting cut off like every night because we got <laughs> we got Christ. drinking passes. But then at one point we were all like, uh, like, like it couldn't stand. Yeah. So they were like, you guys are cut off. So I don't remember if there's a TikTok of it of like, um, it's on my TikTok where it says, Oh, my name is blank, and I think this person's gonna be the drunkest. And then at the end of it, I'm the drunkest, and people were taking videos of me, and they're like, and I'm like, apparently I'm cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jake's like, you're the drunkest, and I'm sitting there yelling at someone, like yelling a song at someone's face, and I'm like, no, he's the drunkest. <laughs> like I'm just, I don't even remember it. It's a really funny TikTok, not to like blow smoke up my own ass, but like that. I love the- to blow anything up there. Oh, milk, right. milk preferred. Did you start going crazy once they gave you the sock? <laughs> So dumb. What? So dumb. Is that why you went like so free and I the don't know. Sock? You just kind of attacked the world oh. after you got the song. It was a it was a Dobby the Elf joke. What's Harry Dobby po- the Elf? Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. He's a short little guy, similar to you. In oh, looks I've as well. I've never really gotten You into really Harry do Potter. look do you you kind of look like Dobby. He's he's I mean it is a guy, but he's high as hell. Really? <laughs> yeah, but can you pull up a picture of Dobby the Elf? He's a house elf. Is he like cute? So cute. It's it's weird. Like he has the pointy ears, which you don't have, but he's hot, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. But you're saying I look like a man? Dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> you're an asshole. No, no, we pretty much nailed it. Get a good pick. You know who he does kind yeah. of look like? I don't look like that. He <laughs> kind of looks like sugar. <laughs> oh, he does <laughs> kind of look like sugar. <laughs> oh, I except for like this guy's more mobile. Alyssa, do you know who you look like? Who? Is the bank called Gringotts? Gringotts? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you look up Gringotts Goblin? Are they goblins? Yeah. That's what you look like when you walk around the town. Everyone's like, hey, can I borrow some cash? Actually, the left one, that is you. Don't mean to be brash. Sorry. Yes. Wow. Could be a grandfather. Why do you guys know all these characters? It's just Harry Potter. You know it's stuff? one of the most successful franchises in history. Do you know who people say I used to look like? Like a gremlin? Like that's, oh. That was my nickname in middle school. Don't feed them after midnight. Yeah. Which, by the way, I noticed that when I eat really late, I get nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah. Can, can we see another clip? Like what kind of nightmares? Just like weird, weird <laughs> shit, bro. Okay, the amount of people here that would be like, he's just drinking a soda. It's, it's not as- um, I know, but you would not audience. even drink. You could see your <laughs> through. My like, eyes, <laughs> hold on, go back <laughs> two seconds for me. <laughs> go back two seconds, look at my eyes. <laughs> no, watch, watch. No clue where she's at. Look at my eyes, wait. Drink. <laughs> you could see yourself through, like you could. Astro projection. You could, it, you, you can show yourself as drunk. Oh, that's fucking. <laughs> <soda. laughs> but I don't understand. You wouldn't drink soda because you. She I, said she was okay, at a so, two. So <laughs> she said she was at a two. Uh, what Alyssa was talking about is I don't drink soda. I did a bet when I was fifteen, and then she was mad, was viscerally, mad. a little visceral, that I would drink alcohol but before I drink soda. Mm-hmm. Because I, I, they were like, want to give me mixed drinks of uh, Jack and Coke. Cause I had mixed leave, drinks. <laughs> <laughs> leave the Coke on the table. I'm not drinking it. And then, uh, yeah, Alyssa, that really- Yeah, it just didn't make sense. That got her goat in an opposite way. And then you also said you were a uh, level two on drunkenness when you were probably a seven there. And that's okay. <laughs> and that's, that's you're fine. Just a, you're just a big, big liar. Big, big liar. The photosynthesis, everyone wants to know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, that's, that's exactly why I pulled it up. That's when plants. That's when plants get sun. Listen, I'm here to tell you information. So if you have a question. I hope you're not able to tell me information by the end of this. I hope you're drunk. Do you know what photosynthesis is? Yes. It's when people. Hey, can you. (laughs) (laughs) It's when people. (laughs) I know. It's when plants get sunlight and that's how they get food. But why did I say people? That's what everyone was wondering. It's when people. (laughs) (laughs) And they were like, hold up. Run that back. Everyone was like, we. I wish you would have finished that thought. <laughs> well, I'm finishing it right now. I know that photosynthesis is when the way that plants get sunlight and turn them into food, but why were I saying, and I said it's so, <laughs> it's when people. <laughs> it's when we the people of the United States. It was- Who it's, edited this? I feel so bad for you. That would be Alyssa. Oh my God. We were. T- I was like, I mean, I usually talk over people. It's a problem I have. I know, I'm aware. Thanks guys. Um, but You? Yeah. No. <laughs> I do, and I, I, I can't help it. My brain moves too fast, and I want to get things out as fast as I can. 
But in that one, everyone was talking over each other. I felt kind of at home. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt bad for the person who was editing because I'm like, oh, God. I was like aware of it, too, when it was happening. I'm like, we're all talking over each other. It's oh. just hard to know what to edit to. But yeah. I also did it the very next day a little hungover. And then I started getting like, I don't know. It woke you up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were super aware uh, when yes. everyone was talking and then you started season singing Stick Season? <laughs> no, not that. But like, I was thinking about it a little bit because... I have edited something before, like I said in my own YouTube videos, and when people talk over each other, it drives me crazy, and I do it the most. <laughs> so it's like, it's, I, yeah, that's it. It's okay. I, I was aware. You could just, what if you just try to be better? I try, but it's just like, I need to get things out of my system. Like, I cannot physically shut the fuck up sometimes, and it's just like, I know, like it's a problem I have, and I don't think I'm ever going to like fix it. It feels like a backlog, almost, and it's like, pressure's building up, and then it just has to get out. I have feel you like been, it, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I just feel like it makes it more fun sometimes. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have you been diagnosed with ADHD? No. Have you ever been tested? Yes. Really? Yes, I have. I, I went to, I growing up, I went to a lot of therapy and like, I went to a lot of psychiatrists and I've been tested for all of it. I'm, you gotta have I'm something. I'm clean as a whistle. See, I'm like, you said you gotta have something? Yeah, it feels like you have something. Something dark, real dark. I don't know about dark. Mm. I got diagnosed with fun. <laughs> <laughs> you you like wanted to laugh. No, <laughs> you sound like one of my mom's like Facebook friends. She goes diagnosed out. Diagnosed with fun. Tonight I got diagnosed with fun and they go out once in the last like three years and they're out <laughs> past 9 p.m. My mom called me the other day. She's like, guess who's out at 11? <laughs> I was like, everybody? Do you know what I want? What? I want your mom to come out with me one time. <laughs> oh wow. my God. Could you imagine? She would try to do an exorcism. On me? <laughs> yeah, 100%. They posted a TikTok today of you taking a shot and your mom commented. No. Oh, no. What'd she say? She goes, this does not make me happy. <laughs> explain point, explain point with a mad face and then not cool or dash mom or something like that. She always puts dash mom. <laughs> As I if you don't that. know it's your mom. And she responds to DMs like everyone can see them. Gina. <laughs> She'd be like, that's my son, everybody. And it's just to, like she'll it's swipe up on you. my story. I'm like. There you go, mom. Yep, you nailed it. She's she's gotten into the stage where she's sending me Instagram reels. Oh, my mom too. So I've seen them, you know, three years ago. Yes. Oh, you saw them on TikTok. Like, my mom was sending me dog reels, and I'm like, I oh, saw this on so TikTok cute. a year ago, mom. <laughs> And it's, it's kind of funny because when they were younger, they didn't have, so they'd see one funny clip and everyone would probably talk about it for months. Yeah. And we're so inundated with funny, we probably see a thousand funny things in a week. Yeah. And, but she'll call me after she sends me something funny. She's like, it, it's, it'll be like <laughs> she calls you to like get reassurance yeah. it'll that be it like funny. A, it'll be like a dog and a baby like snuggling and like the baby burps. And she would call me be like, can you believe that baby burp? <laughs> <laughs> and like, that's just a swipe for me on TikTok. Cause like I'm, you know, my level of uh, entertainment has gone through the roof. Oh yeah, spoiled. you're so astute. I'm a little spoiled, but it's so funny that she'll, <laughs> and then and the dog woke up when the baby burped. I'm like, yes it did mom. And again, my mom is not Southern. I was gonna say, I love how every time you go Southern with it, Oh, what is this one? Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't know. My to... mouth's open. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> Alyssa, can I be honest with you? What? Mm, that's kind of scary. I think you need to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a lot. How of do you know I have it? Uh, I know for a fact. Some, no, <laughs> Wait, let's play a game. Fact. Let's play a game. I... When's the last time everyone got laid? Oh, yeah, Colby. That... Colby just DM me. Oh, he's, he wants to come on the podcast this week. Sam and Colby coming to the podcast. Uh, Woohoo. Next week. Woohoo! We're gonna film Thursday. What are we gonna talk about wait. ghosts? I can't wait for that. I love talking about ghosts. I think they want to take me on a ghost excursion. I don't believe in them. Why? What not? if they convince you, dude? I've known Sam and Colby for five years, and they yeah. haven't convinced you yet. I believe that it's happening. Like when I believe things happen, and like I will say, their new series convinced me a little bit that like the spirit world is real. I believe in like another side and the way they can communicate, but I don't believe in like ghosts. Like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like like a like Scooby Doo ghost. Yeah, I don't believe in like ghosts. Like in like, although when I went on the Queen Mary, <laughs> there we go. So although when I went on the Queen Mary, a door like opened as I was saying something, and then it, we closed it, and it opened again. And I'm like, I can't make that shit up. Obviously, maybe nope. it's an old door, but like, I, I want to not believe so bad. But there are little things that I'm like, Ooh, this is no, no, same thing happens to me when I. This is you guys aren't gonna believe this, so just go ahead and whatever. But this is my like. It's happened a few times, but this is my ghost experience. I'll go to the supermarket and like I'll step up to the doors and they just open. Dude, and you are so dumb. I'm, no, no, I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm being dead serious right now. 
Like you listen to her and you didn't say a thing. And then when I bring up my truth, you got to be an a-hole about it. Because your an truth, a-hole. Your truth is, are, is automatic sliding doors. What? They have sensors, Zach. Yeah, I'm sensitive about this. So if you could chill. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Going to the doctor and getting anything fixed physically or mentally is exhausting, hard to do, hard to find someone who's reliable, who actually cares about your care and takes your insurance, to be completely honest. But do we have a solution with ZocDoc? Actually, Jared just used ZocDoc. I did just use ZocDoc, actually. I used it to find a new primary care physician because I hadn't gotten a physical in seven years. I can give you one. Not the kind of physical I was looking for, but uh, honestly, doctors scare me, and I didn't know which ones were good or which ones took my insurance. It all seemed too convoluted, but ZocDoc being this end all be all Yelp for doctors really put me at ease. It's kind of like Tinder for a doctor, but there's only hot girls. And by hot girls, I mean great doctors. And they always match with you and you can match with whatever you want. It's wonderful. <laughs> Swipe right on your health today with ZocDoc. With what? With ZocDoc. Uh, ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search, compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. I've tried to go to the doctor several times about pretty serious ailments and they'll be like, yeah, we'll see you in a month or two because we're so booked up. Well, guess what? The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just uh, 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. Hell yeah. My appointment was same day. Fun fact. Go to ZocDoc.com slash dropouts and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash dropouts. ZocDoc.com slash dropouts. Download that app, boy, for free and get your health care looking pretty. Thank you. Do you have darkness in your mind? Is your soul fleeting? Do you have that big gray cloud raining down on you every single day? You could be depressed. How do you fix depression or at least help mitigate it? Therapy. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this episode. Going to therapy is like a gym for your mind. You're working it out. You're you're maturing it. And a lot of people look at therapy as this negative thing, like, oh, you must have something wrong with you. You've got to talk to somebody about your problems, when really you can prevent problems from even happening from talking it through. Or if you have something bottled up, you don't have to react negatively to the people around you. Or if somebody else hurts you, you can talk about it. And it just eases your mind in such ways that I can't even begin to explain. I've been to therapy. It's a cool, cool thing to do from a cool guy. And the best part about BetterHelp is that it's entirely online. It's designed to be flexible to your schedule. All you have to do to get started is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. You know, sometimes we'll go to our friends in a group chat and be like, hey, this is happening, and people don't really don't have answers, but probably because they haven't studied in the field and um, know the right tactics to make your brain happy. And yeah, that can be a little devastating, so... Try BetterHelp. Here's a little, oh, oh, you want some money off on BetterHelp? Check this out. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash dropouts today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash dropouts. Use it now or we'll talk to you or we'll come find you. Thank you, BetterHelp. Wait, okay, so you, you've you had experiences, but what you don't want to believe I, I believe in like another side and like communication. Okay. Like I believe that some people are special enough that they can communicate, but I don't believe that there's ghosts just walking among us because it's like, there'd be a ghost right here and right here, but the amount of people that are dead. Uh-huh. But and people- like, what makes them stuck? Like, I just don't want to get into it. It opens a whole other door. It's like opening a can of worms. I think I have a medium. Um, like I'm a medium. Do you want to ask anything? I can kind of just. Yeah. Okay. Ready? You mind if I get in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta I'm, go I'm to, an, I, I gotta go to the spirit realm real quick. Yeah, I have a question for you. Yeah, first. He turned well, into Esteban, Esteban, Esteban from what? Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Esteban. No, I, I don't. Oh. I do. Rafiki, Rafiki. Isn't that the, the character from La, The Lion King? Circle of life. <laughs> so dumb. Okay, can I ask you now? Yes. Okay. What? <laughs> Does my love life look like in the next week? Every ooh, yes, I know. Mm. Okay, you're getting mm. weird. Can you stop? Every whole field. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> double hot dog in the in the bun. Mm. Uh, <laughs> is he possessed? Mm. Is that what he's doing? I guess. I don't, 
Oh, uh, he's speaking in tongues now. Ah, that guy doesn't care. About that. I'm uncomfortable. Uh, that guy doesn't care if you have ketchup in your taco. I'm back. Ketchup in your taco is Listen, crazy. I want to let you know. What did you hear? I heard ketchup in my taco, and that can't be true because I just got off my period. So Hold on. You will re-break your hymen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that's not possible. <laughs> so I finished filming my movie. Oh, um, congratulations. Oh, you finished? It's a, it's a wrap? Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Speaking of wrapping it up, I have something to say. So we were on set, and after the whole gun shooting thing on that one movie, um, they have to do like extensive safety meetings. Like every time we use a gun and reshoot or even do the same scene right before we hit roll again, he, they have to be like, this is a fake gun. A couple people touch it. Can everybody say it's a rubber gun? And then everybody's like, yeah, yeah, it's a rubber gun. And I said a joke because we oh, just kept on no. saying rubber gun all the time. And I was like, they handed it to me. I was like, huh, it's my first time using a rubber. <laughs> and obviously a condom joke. Obviously. But this movie is about extensive murder <laughs> like gruesome, gruesome murder and depicting so many awful things. Some people are getting just slashed up to hell. Jesus. Blood everywhere. And I make that joke and a lot of the, some of the crew just looks around like, are we allowed to say that? <laughs> I'm like, we're making a move. I said a, a joke about a condom and we're saying, and we're literally about to shoot someone in the skull. <laughs> it's just kind of funny do how- you know, Do you know for me that what that is, is just like everyone just wants to hate on Zach. Anything yeah. that comes out of your mouth. It's just kind of the world that we live in. Like, you can't say a joke, but you can depict gruesome murder. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird kind of dichotomy. I was like, there. there's fake blood on the floor with someone dead. Like this. What person, does dichotomy mean? Like a contrast juxtaposition. You, you know, like a, a triceratops. Okay, it's a cousin. <laughs> sip, sip. I'm okay. You seem like you're angry. I don't want to take a sip from your water bottle. I don't want to take a sip from your chocolate milk. I didn't offer you my chocolate milk. I'd actually like a little sip. <laughs> <laughs> I have like lipstick at the tip of it. Yeah? Yeah. Same. You can finish it if you want. That is the most Ugh. psychotic way I've ever That's seen. That's the warmest milk I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> what do you think about that? Why'd you do that? Why is this not cooled? It's warm? You're drinking warm it's milk? It's almost like she heated it up. And you were making fun of me? I'm almost done with it. To it's repulsive. How long have you been sipping on this? It's not big. Like an hour? Mm. I'm a sipper, not like a gulper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I like to sip things. I can't like down something. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. I'll f like finishing things really fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, change the subject. <laughs> I, but um, back to, have you, have you ever acted in a movie or anything? In a movie? No, I haven't. Well, they treat you, if you're an actor, they treat you like your national royalty. Really? <laughs> it doesn't make any Wait, sense. I would love it. Oh my. Oh yeah. It's like, do you need anything? Do you need a snack? And I'm just like, oh, I'm good. Do you need anything? You're good. No, no, no. I'm here for you. If you need anything, you just let me know. And everyone. <gasps> I want to act in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> everyone was outside and it was sprinkling because we were um, doing lunch and all the, you know, all the crew, the director, everybody's like, you know, getting rained on. I'm out there too. I am. And then like uh, one of the PAs like, <gasps> and then comes out there and like, gets an umbrella, doesn't hand it to me. I could just hold my own umbrella, but just holds it over me the entire time. I'm like, guys, I'm so sorry. This is not who I am fundamentally. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just crazy how they treat you. Yeah, no, it's a weird thing because that was my job a lot of times when I was a PA was like the the talent management. And it it is crazy how they expect you to wait on them like hand and foot. And then it's all it's even crazier how some of the talent expects that like they don't have that kind of mindset where it's like i can hold my own umbrella i can like get a snack myself they fully expect it do you know one of the nicest celebrities you ever worked for who kelly clarkson so nice oh i'm sure she is she an absolute like sweetheart she, she, she was, seems like it he was too. sitting outside by himself and she invited him just him into the trailer to eat with her just to have lunch. What? Yeah. So we were. Kelly Clarkson. Uh, it, wow. We were shooting a commercial. And so I was like the talent wrangler on that. And, uh, you know, she had like her trailer, or whatever. And it was lunchtime. And so she was in there. And I was just like sitting in a seat <laughs> right outside the trailer just in case she needed anything. And uh, and then she opened the door and she's like, she's like, do you want to do you want to come in and just like eat with us? And I was like really? Are you sure? And she's like, yeah, it's fine. Like get in here. And so, yeah, I got to hang out with her so and kind. eat some lunch. She's and, the sweetest person. And it was when we first started the podcast, like maybe two episodes 
And Jared, Jared asked her, he's like, do you want to come on our podcast? Well, cause she was asking me, <laughs> she, she was asking me like what I do, like what I came out here for stuff like that. I was like, oh, well, like this is what I do for money. But, uh, my friends and I, like, we just started a podcast. And so she like wanted to see a clip from it and stuff. And I was like, I'm never going to get this opportunity again. And we're like, we'd love to have you on if well, you're ever free. How about now? Kelly Clarkson. I, Kelly Clarkson. We if, love you. If you want to come on. If you ever see this. Wait, this reminds me when. I got high what? for my ACL tear. Can you go to my TikTok? Kelly Clarkson. I just kept on like saying Kelly Clarkson. What if she's like meant to be on this podcast? Maybe. Kelly Clarkson, if you ever <laughs> see this, please come on Dropouts. We're manifesting right now. How do we almost mob her? Where it feels? Do we have any blackmail on Kelly Clarkson? No, she's I an don't amazing think person. We Hold on. Mob her direct with to, blackmail. Direct to camera. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, if you don't come on this podcast, we'll tell them. <laughs> we'll tell them. We'll tell them how good of a person you are. Yeah, yeah. we'll tell them how good of a singer you are. Oh, you think you're so cool because you sing everyone's songs better than Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, huh? that's so funny, by um, the way. You're telling me the boys of World War II went through all that, and I'm struggling to get it from steps? I'm a pansy. Kelly Clarkson, if you're watching this, I'm usually not this incapacitated. I could definitely be a backup dancer for you on any normal occasion. Kelly Clarkson, know that I am a good man. Zach, get up this step. Kelly Clarkson, are you listening? I love you, Kelly. You're the Kelly to my Clarkson. Oh, I need to do this for her. Uh, Burger for that car. You see that, Kelly? Kelly Clarkson knew I could do it. Kelly Clarkson believed in me. Now I'm moving so fast. It's Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson? For whatever reason. I yeah, thought that's she, was, so funny. she was on your mind. When I you thought she was my guardian angel. Kite. That's so random. <laughs> yeah. And I was trying to run. <laughs> I remember that. My granny's like, stop. <laughs> stop. My, my grandpa, he was like, slow it down. There's a speed limit through here. <laughs> where, where were you? I got that, that surgery Georgia? done. No, that was in um, Marshall University, West Virginia. West Virginia. Why West Virginia? Because when I tore my ACL, I did all the research of the best surgeon in the world for ACL. And there was this guy who invented something called um, fertilized ACL. It's going to get a little bit boring for people, but I think it's cool. His name is Dr. Lavender. And it sounds like a fake doctor name. That is his name. Chad and Lavender. Chad Lavender is his name. Kid loves Drake. It's kind of funny because when he's in the operating table, uh, when the patient's under, he gets all the doctors around and he does like a starting lineup for a basketball team. He's like, on oh, scalpel. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he plays Drake. Well, the person's under. He's like, it just gets me in the flow. I said, I love it. So he figured out with stem cells, you know, they do have, they do help things heal quicker. But when they take it out and take out your stem cells and put them back in, they have to stay in that place or they just dissipate and it doesn't do anything. So we figured out a way while he's, while I was under, took um, stem cells out of my bone marrow. In the back, he created a putty out of it and he put it in the holes that he drilled into my knee so they would heal faster. And when I was um, rehabbing, in the first week, another guy had the normal surgery and he had 30 degrees of flexion, which is like kind of like how much you can bend your knee. He could only do it 30 degrees. I could do it 130. And wow. I, was, I was doing lunges in the first week. It gets, it's pretty crazy. Wow. The kid's good. Good job, go. Chad Lavender. Shout out. OCL. <laughs> Who lives in West Virginia? Though? Like you went to a house. Oh, we, oh they, uh, they have an invention. What is it? Is it? It's not hotels. What is it? Airbnb. Doing? Airbnb. <laughs> oh. That's what it is. To be well, fair, it's Alyssa, new. I was thinking the same thing. To it's be, new. I thought it was in Kentucky because I thought it was your granny's house. So I was confused. It's okay. My granny was there because she loves me and she was near it and she came and to, took care of me. That's so sweet. Your granny came? Also, I want to, uh, Indiana, thank you for helping me because I had to pee in a bottle and it fell on the ground and she had to clean it up. I didn't know she was Australian. <laughs> yeah. That she, was a shock for me. She just, only on camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's Handsome losing is, if you guys don't hear off camera, Handsome is screaming handsome bloody murder. Handsome has been screaming bloody murder. About yeah. what? time. For know. like 30 minutes. Yeah. Someone give him that ball. Oh, uh, we also need to publicly apologize to the Ned's Declassified podcast. A big public apology. Hey, I wasn't invited. I'm not saying. <laughs> I didn't even know. Well, no. So they asked us to come on last time. Oh, we had them on our podcast. Obviously, we were friends with them too. And they came on. Great podcast. Funny banter. They asked to come on last time. I had COVID. So I was like, guys, I can't do it. Um, and they only shoot, I think, like once every few months and they batch them. They're like, okay, uh, we can do it. I was like, can we do it the next day or the next week? And they're like, ah, we have to wait. So this time we shoot, uh, I was, they told us like a month in advance and we were like, cool, cool, cool. And I guess for whatever reason, we didn't get the follow-up email and I guess there was one. So we thought, oh, maybe, you know, these things just cancel all the time. They probably just aren't doing the shoot that day. 
whatever it is. And then Jared rushes in my room and I'm taking a nap. And he's like, we have to be on the Neds to Classified podcast right now. <laughs> as in four minutes ago. Yeah, we, we got an email from their producer and he was like, hey, any updates on ETA? And we're, I got that at 5.07 and we we're supposed to be on there at five. And I about had a heart attack. And it was like a 40 minute drive to get there. So we're, we're like, Dude, we'll rush you right now. I really apologize. And uh, I think at first they thought we were lying about with no, it. Thought, you're, you're a lot of things, but you're not a liar. But they thought we were just blowing them off, uh, which we really weren't. Like we generally didn't see an email, but I was like asking for the address. And I felt bad because when someone, especially if you, they scheduled a crew, they scheduled a filming team, they yeah. had like prepped for our podcast. And then if it looks like someone, you know, is flaking on you, you're going to be upset as well. Dude, I was sick to my stomach when I got that email. Cause I just, I know that feeling of like being in the podcast world for three years now. And it's just like, it is the worst feeling. So I sent them a pr uh, profuse apology. That makes sense. Yeah, you like profusely, profusely apologize. apologize. I did profusely apologize, but you know, I think it. You know, still that can be a little skeptical of like, oh, they're just trying to save face. Um, so I was like, I'll pay for the whole crew for the whole day. Like I sent them like five grand, and I explained to them, like it wasn't us trying to not be there. You just, I mean, simple, I, it was one, simple, it was a simple. Mistake. Yeah, like one, yeah. I wouldn't want to lose five grand. Two, <laughs> I, uh, it's exposure and like friendship. I would have to sever like friendship, and we wouldn't get exposure on our podcast. Like it all just makes sense. Um, and then they finally, I, not finally, but they they believed us and um, we're going to do it again. But oh, and they, they didn't accept the $5,000, which is I very noble I, of them. I, but I did want to do right and like pay for the day. Cause, yeah, because it was like, it's a fucked up mistake on our end, but it was an honest one. Like we really did not yeah. mean to you miss it. You guys aren't like flakes either. Just, this is something. We only flake in our panties. Ugh. It's a discharge joke. Can hey, I calm down? got it. It's what women do, Jared. I was thinking booty flakes. Oh my God, I've <laughs> never experienced that. I don't believe you. You're telling me you've never had one skid mark in your life? No. Liar. I Not have a one? I have a bidet too. Yeah, but, but you haven't there's had a bidet no all your life. There's no way you've never had a skid mark in your life. I bidet and I do it. That's recent though. We're talking about all your life. No. In your life, you've never had a skid mark? No. Maybe he is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so what about that? I have something to say about that. I don't do emails. You... <laughs> You, the other day, we had a Zoom meeting. <laughs> and he's like, hey, you coming on? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, the Zoom meeting. It's, well, the only thing is we talked about it that earlier that day, the day before, and like three days prior. I need an assistant really bad. <laughs> I introduced you to an assistant. Have you hit her up? Yeah, no, I figured something out, actually. But anyways, my whole thing is, is like, I don't check my email. There's a reason that I have like my manager connected to my email and like for all my business stuff, because I don't do it. I will never get anything done. <laughs> Emails stress me out to a scary degree. So even when someone's like, hey, like this is the best place to reach you, I'm like, nope, here's my number. Text me. <laughs> oh my God. Zach is like, hey, I sent you. The other day I was really drunk at like a party and he sent me the call time for the Josh Richards podcast. And he's like, hey, there's a, um, what was it? There was like a calendar invite. Oh, there's a, no, no, no. There's a, <laughs> Something so no, 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 unheard no. of. There's a Cal invite, C A L invite. And I said, Hey, a call invite question mark? Would you am I supposed to be on a phone call? I was also <laughs> drunk, get, like given that. And he's like, no, in your email there's a calendar invite. I'm like, I'm like, is it for a Zoom call question mark? Like, am I supposed to be there with the podcast on Zoom with Josh? And he's like, no, it's just the date and time. I'm like, you can just text me the date and time. <laughs> yeah, but it automatically adds to your calendar. So if you look at your calendar, it's like, oh, that's in my calendar. It doesn't add to mine because I don't go on my email. <laughs> How I do, you, do you have a calendar? Yeah, I just physically add it in. I just started using it too, this month. I usually write it physically on my office calendar, but it stopped working because I stopped checking. Okay. And I don't have a physical, like, big dog calendar with me all the what time. If you, what if you just started checking? I could do that. <laughs> I could, so but, I'm not but I don't like emails. Oh, why? It's just a text, but on a computer. But, on a different but app. you have to, like, go through the app. It doesn't give me a notification. It, it does. My notifications aren't on for my email because I get so many spam emails of, like, oh, GetYourPussyWax.com. <laughs> <laughs> what websites are you visiting? That's a good business. That's not, that's had, also not spam. I've had my email for a long time. So why don't you just make like a business? I do email? have a business email which my manager checks. But Dude. don't you also <laughs> want to check it? No. But then you could have your calendar on there. That way you'd be like, oh, I know what I'm doing today instead of stressing. Because you'll always call me, what? That's happening. <laughs> I was like, we've only known about it for two months. It's no biggie. <laughs> I know when we go do the I New York the, trip. I am the way I am, and that is the way I am. 
I know when we do the New York, oh, you know what's so funny? I was like, hey, we're gonna do some like smaller East Coast shows. We're gonna do like New York, Boston. I forgot, something Connecticut maybe. New Haven. New Haven and some other thing. He sent me a fucking paragraph. <laughs> it, was it was three scrolls wrong. This is what she said. So we're supposed to do that. It's like a test for Live Nation who put on like a great podcast events. And she's like, Zach. I'm like, what? I can't, do, I can't go. I'm like, <laughs> Why can't you go uh, to the live shows on the East Coast? Well, my parents are gone and nobody's going to be able to watch Sugar. I'm like. <laughs> it's a good excuse. I don't trust people with Sugar. I'm like, you mean you can't expand your business because your three-legged dog <laughs> might be sad with someone else? No, I can't. I can't. Uh, and then. And you know what that says about me? How much I love my dog. So fuck off. But what about, what about, <laughs> see this? I don't have your name tattooed. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Stop it. Yeah, but you call me sugar as well. I don't call you sugar. Wait, where'd you get the- Stop, 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 stop. Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Cut that. Oh, and then I call Robbie. And then I was like, hey, Tara is not sure if she wants to do the East Coast shows because she might have to watch her dog. <laughs> and, and Robbie's like, huh? I was like, yeah. And he's like, is that just, if she just doesn't want to do it, she can say it. I was like, no, she just generally doesn't want to leave her dog with her mom. And My mom's not going to be there. Or anyone. There's doggy hotels. No. I would never. My dog always used to come back from those with diarrhea. It's because they get stressed oh. out. No, it's because they're having so dogs, much fun. No, Handsome some, loves it. Yeah, some dogs can do it. Some dogs don't get anxious. Your dog probably got anxious. So now Robbie's like, I will hold the dog the entire trip. Okay. Book a doggy hotel. No. No, a hotel for him that the dog can be in. Are you understand? Like a, a hotel that we're staying in where Sugar oh. can also stay. Okay. That's fine. There we go. Okay, she's, she's, gonna she's be, back she's in. going to book a Marvel movie. Sorry, I can't be Iron Man woman. I can't Iron be Iron Man woman. <laughs> I can't be Iron Man woman. I got my, my dog. is It's his birthday. <laughs> it is his birthday on March 28th. Oh, that's cute. You'll be back for it. You know Mostly what? Because it's and like, yeah, this is all funny. Like, this is really funny, actually. Like, oh, my dedication to my dog. But is it funny? Because I love my dog to pieces and shreds. And I don't care. I, I don't care if someone's offering me $3 billion. No, we weren't going to euthanize. It wasn't a euthanized thing. It was just like, hey, maybe a friend could watch the dog for a couple of days. Can you hear me out for one second? I'll do, give you two. <laughs> <laughs> My parents are both not going to be in town. No, I know. The people who I trust the most with sugar are my ex-boyfriend, Jake. Okay. And he's very busy lately, so I'm not going to bother him with it. Of course. My other friend who I trust sugar with is in New York. Okay. My other friend I trust sugar with, her name is Noss, and she's getting married. So I don't know if she's going to be on a honeymoon or anything that week. But there is a service called Paws where they're peer reviewed. I don't care. I'm not putting a stranger with my dog. He is like a toddler to me. And I don't, I don't judge other people who do it because their dogs are different and they can acclimate. I know my dog cannot acclimate. But the good news is Sugar's going to be with us. And he's going to be surrounded by people that he's love never, him. But he's never been on a plane, though. He barks a lot. If, if, if babies can cry <laughs> on a plane, Sugar can bark. I'm going to sit far away from you. <laughs> You're going to be embarrassed? <laughs> no, no, no. Just, uh, we he, want to Will they let, the as long as Sugar's allowed on my lap, he won't bark. But they don't let that. Yeah, they will. No, they won't. As He's long not a service as... animal. And I'm not going to, like, fake service animal him. No, I think he can sit on your lap during flight. But in when you take off and landing, I think he has to be in that, like. During flight, if you could sit on my lap, that's all I can care about. Yeah, yeah he just I has think... to be under Robbie the... needs to pay them, like, $10,000, though. I don't care. Dude, I saw... tra I've traveled with him before. The I think one of the last times I was on a plane, there was like a whole ass like pit bull just chilling in the seat. Well, question: Are we gonna all be next to each other, like sitting next to each other? No. <laughs> what? Wait, why not? Knowing him, he's gonna be in first. Um, and we're just gonna you're gonna have the Who's extra me? leg room. I'm going to first. Yeah, go to first. That way, the dog can be with you, plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> but Robbie can have the dog in the plane too. No. Dude, Sugar is oh. gonna be with me. Okay, I thought you. Maybe he is a service animal. <laughs> I, I'm. He's your emotional support dog. He really is. No, dude, it's bad. My mom always calls him a like in in Farsi because I'm Persian. He calls him a safety pin. He's like he's safety pinned to you. He's a piece of scotch tape. Like everywhere I go, he just follows me. What is that in Farsi? Um, Sanjokofli, which means safety pin. I thought it was gonna be way easier to say. <laughs> Sanjokofli. Yeah, Sanjokofli. <laughs> What is this, a drunk episode again? No, that He's was just that slurring. Was... Speaking of weapons from earlier, I just saw weapons. What? When were we, when talking, we talking about weapons? weapons? The rubber joke. Don't act like that was like an, that hour was ago. an hour ago. <laughs> okay, but I just, I listen, I saw this. I like how he's nervous. He's like, how do we get in here with the weapon thing? <laughs> I saw this crazy video of a teacher in New Mexico 
who she was teaching a lesson on like metal wielding and stuff like Wait, that. Wait, metal what? Wielding? Welding? Well, wielding in the Weld sense- It's welding, right? It is welding, but It could she, mean both. What, oh. Wielding means holding it and like using the reason, it. Oh, the act of welding. The reason I said no, wielding no, 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 no. is because she brought two swords into class and <laughs> moved all the desk out of the way and had the students fight in two minute increments. What? And hold on, I'll, I'll send a list of the video. Wait, a teacher did this in class? Yeah, and the- Had the instigated a fight? Like between the student, like in rounds, in two minute rounds. And what the, is this, gladiators? The <laughs> fucked up thing is that someone ended up getting hurt. Of like a, a student uh, like got like a ligament cut <gasps> in her hand. This is terrible. You're, no, you're, you're, ba you're training for battle, it's bound to happen. But, Why is this teacher doing this? That's horrid. But the crazy thing is That's that- That's not the crazy thing? <laughs> not, that is the crazy thing. But after that happened, she, uh, obviously kids were recording the fights happening and, and, and I, got- I don't want to see this. No, no, no. You don't see the, the person getting That's hurt. Terrible. This is just an example Did of- Did she get fired? Uh, uh, no. What? And then, well, no, no, no. <laughs> I think- uh, the school board did an investigation and concluded that the teacher had broken no rules, uh, but now the school district is being sued by the girl's family. But yeah, the school board said that she didn't break any rules by bringing weapons into class and having the students fight where, where, each other. We can't have fun anymore. Where That's so much fun. Uh, this was in New Mexico. That's the most fun thing I've ever heard. No, it I is, would love to be there. It is fun. Fun. Sally lost a thumb. What a story. Okay. Well, if not that part. it was fake swords and it was like for a lesson. That's, yeah, that's but completely it was real different. Swords. It was real swords. And when she pulls up the video, this is where it like gets scary because in the video, there's a kid who's taking it like a little bit too seriously. Of I course. I don't want to watch that. That's high school, baby. Well, can, no. Can I close my eyes? Sure. I just get nightmares. I'll, I'll describe it to you in great detail. This is one of those things where I'm gonna to want to look away and I can't. So this is the this is the classroom. Oh, I love this. But the kid, he's like literally trying to stab the other one. Oh, they're obviously dull. Okay, but they're still real swords. He's still stabbing him. Give it to Dom. Give it to Dom. Does he? Yep. Damn, hold on. But isn't that terrifying? No, I'm so in. That's a video? That Well, that's not the person getting hurt. Oh, brother, they're but fine. That's, that's a video from the classroom. Don't sue them. Oh, uh, something similar, semi-similar happened to me when I was in fifth grade. We were in class and she was trying- I just got a whiff of your cologne. <laughs> no good? It was just weird because you've been sitting here this whole time and I suddenly got a whiff of it. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> so, so she- I don't know why, but she had a glass bowl with oil in it and she had it on a Bunsen burner. And in the middle she had, it was like different pieces of paper or something that floated to kind of show how Pangea progressively um, expanded. Okay. And I guess there was a crack in the bowl. Oh shit. And um, the oil just like a bomb exploded and <gasps> it got all over everybody. Some got in Skylar's arm, people, kids had glass in, in their arm. And, shit, well, and that's like an accident. People were burned and. What the fuck? Yeah. But she's fine. What class was this? Science. <laughs> <laughs> just science in general. It happens, brother. There's nothing I can do about it. I guess. Just let it happen. That was crazy. Did your, like, when you were in chemistry, did your teacher ever, like, when he was showing, uh, like, reactions or whatever, ever light their desk on fire? I don't remember. <laughs> I have a really funny story about science class that okay. I've, I've wanted to tell, like, for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go ahead. Okay, in eighth grade, I had a teacher named Mr. Simons. I loved him. He was like a really good science teacher. And I was sitting next to this guy who I thought was really cute. And he was like a cute guy. Like everyone like in the eighth grade thought he was cute. And I haven't changed one bit. You can tell from the story. But Mr. Simons goes, hey, like we're gonna do like a salt and vinegar test where like we like, you know, like you things that are aged, you just test them, like their pH balance and stuff like that. And they were like, he was like, whatever you guys do, don't, drink any of this stuff. Oh, of course. Oh my God. Right? That doesn't need to be said. That doesn't need to be said. Like we are 13. Like do not taste test it. It's really old. Immediately the guy that I was sitting next to looks at me and goes, Tara, I dare you drink it. There's no way you listen to him. And I had such a big crush on him. I said, easy. I took a shot of the vinegar. What is wrong with you? I got like literally 10 minutes and immediate tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I raise my hand, I go, Mr. Simons, I drank the vinegar. <laughs> and he's like, why would you drink the vinegar? I'm like, because 
He told me to. <laughs> and he's like, see, everyone, this is why we don't do what cute boys tell us to do. Go to the nurse. So I literally had like diarrhea, immediately diarrhea. I don't know. It was like really old, like 12 years old, I think. And I went home. But to this day, I went back like my junior year of high school or something. He's like, to this day, I tell that story of like <laughs> she had a crush on this guy and thought it was like, thought it was badass to drink the vinegar. Don't drink the vinegar. <laughs> and... um yeah, so I did it because I thought a guy was cute, and I'm like, Oof, when the, checks yeah. out. When a teacher lets you sit by your crush, or maybe sometimes, like if I, I was feel a teacher, like they plan it. Oh, sometimes they they know I have a crush and they sit me across the room. I'd be so mad. Oh, that's the worst. Dude, oh, but in science class, I remember they had a little crush on this girl. Maybe it was just a physical attraction. I don't really know what was going on, but I sat right next to her, and like the whole class, she would just kind of just try to grab my crotch. What? Yeah. What? There's no way. I swear. What grade was what this? What grade? Uh, this was high school. Oh my god! What did you do? Letter? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was great. great. It was yeah. a dream come true. Oh, buddy, when you're 16, Jeez. 17, yeah, you're horny as hell. God. Um, well, that's a lot worse than me drinking a little expired vinegar for a guy I thought was cute. God, we had um, such different high school experiences. Do you know what's funny too about this Mr. Simon's guy I'm talking about? I sent him an email a while back. No way. Yeah, I don't pull it up. <laughs> You an email you scared the shit out of him. Exactly. Hansel. I didn't even know you. Know I sent an email. Like. I sent an email to him, and I'll I'll, say it, I'll I'll read it to you right now. Dart me with one. Here it is. This guy was across the room. He's gonna th he's gonna throw a grape at me. <laughs> Close. I said. Do you do we have time for me to read this really quick? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Hi, Mr. Simons. I hope this email finds you well. Email. <laughs> huh. I wanted to reach out and share a funny memory from your science class back in 2013. I'm not sure if you remember, but I drank the experiment. Oh, oh, with. Which I thought, which it was apple cider vinegar or something, and it was super old and expired. You had specifically said not to ingest it, but I did because a cute boy dared me to. It's a story to this day I tell, and I know to this day you tell, and it always brings a smile to my face. Just wanted to let you know that I haven't changed a bit, and I'm still up to my silly antics. How are you? Again, not sure if you remember me. I also painted that solar system. Not sure if it's still up. Would love to hear about my middle school nowadays. Take care, and hope to hear from you soon. Then he replied... Holy smokes, Tara, how are you? Of course I remember, and your painting's still up. Glad to hear you remember the silly things in life. Everything here is still business as usual. I still tell the story, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's really cute. I know. Was but he cute? He was like an attractive man. I didn't have a crush on him or anything. He was like happily married. Have you ever hooked up with <laughs> one of your past teachers? No. Surrounded by your glory. No. no, you're good. The face told me everything I needed. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, never like a school teacher, no. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening and watching. Remember to be part of the Patreon. You just have to, it's in the link, description, whatever. Uh, go watch the drunk episode, seven day free trial. And then remember the clips thing, uh, $250 to the one that gets the most Dropouts views. challenge. Hashtag dropouts challenge. Also tag so us. Oh, and oh, the oh, one oh, that we oh, like the best. Oh, oh. Remember to follow me, Ash Shaquille O'Neal on Instagram. <laughs> and, uh, oh, subscribe. Woo. Like, and comment. Leave a comment of something weird you did to like a school crush at trying to impress them like Tara did. Oh, that's a good one. Or really any crushes have to be school. Thank you guys. Oh, and be nice in the comments. Leave a comment. If you see a comment, leave a comment. This is like, what's the like peer review? Uh, you say, see something, say something. See something, say something. So if you see somebody saying, comment a little thing. Like, that's funny. Or engage a little bit. You little scoundrels. Oh, I want to be alone in my room.